Here we go. King for an issue. King for an issue. What's the issue? What is this week's issue? Keeper, give me the issue. So we talked about a couple different ones. Which one did you want to dive into? Oh, damn, bro. It's been like... We talked about flags. We talked about world hunger. We talked about world peace. Oh, uh, we talked about another one. We talked about... The other one we talked about was fixing your local issues. No, not that one. I thought we talked about another one. Those were the four we talked about. But we... Okay, so we talked about flags briefly. That kind of talks into a sub... Ties into a subject that we had previously, doesn't it? I'm sp- with that segment. I'm specifically talking about flags. Okay, define define flags. So, and we have talked about this in a specific region of America. Yeah, but it's not just America that's dealing with it. I think it was like Minnesota or Montana. I think it was Minnesota. They've changed their flag to like a squirrel. And all this other stuff we talked about on podcast. But this specifically, what I want to talk about is how do we stop, how do we fix the issue of history being erased because it offends someone? So, and this actually does tie in it, from my perspective. Okay. Right. So I mean, we'll, we'll touch on me first before, and so then we'll let you. For an issue, fix the issue of erasing history. Yeah. So. We need to stop pandering to these minority groups. U-turns? U-turns. The thing is, is I don't want to suppress a minority, right? Correct. But that's not what this is. When does when does it turn into suppressing a minority, though? Like, that's where we're at today. We... We are, are bending not, over backwards. We yeah, no, we are fucking letting ourselves get raped in the ass. No lube. No lube. Fucking Weak nothing men. but blood. Um but in order to politician pander to these minorities, and I'm 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 honestly fed up with it. Like, okay, cool. I was cool with removing the 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 Civil War statues, whatever. I was not cool with dumping said Civil War statues in rivers. Renaming bases. I wasn't. Uh, I'm. I'm. So here's the thing about renaming bases. I am cool with it as long as we legitimately look at it for what it was. We're renaming bases because if you and me are confused by what bases are named what, the enemy World is World also took. confused by what bases are named what. And I actually think that that's the real no. I think that was the real reason that why bases the are named, reason, but that wasn't the original. That, that's the re- official re- The official reason is because it offended people. Because blah 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 blah. Whatever. I, I understand the potential of it being the government reason. Change. Yeah, sure. We're gonna ke- change Camp but Stanley if, if they, to Camp Freedom. If they came camp- out and they were like, "Oh, well, we need to rename uh, Washington to something else because Washington owns slaves." You can fuck off properly because everyone owned slaves back then. You're aware that all the founding fathers went bankrupt. And they all went bankrupt in order to fucking make this country its own and not be owned by England. And free their own slaves. And free their own slaves where they could afford to do so. Yep. Because every slave you freed cost money because you had to pay a fee to free them. And the interesting thing is a majority of slaves for the founding fathers still stayed working there as indentured servitudes. Mm-hmm. They still indentured, yeah, indentured servitude. They still worked there and it was just like, well, you're going to pay me a stipend. It's going to be less than normal, but. And I, I don't want to dive I on another one. I want to dive into the slavery thing a bit more because yeah. I've got a lot a lot of history but and just, a lot of what just goes over loosely this. Loosely grasping, we can dive into it later. But just loosely, how do we how do we fix the issue of erasing history? You like just, Aryan members you need leave this type of convince. organization mm-hmm. and become. No, I, I actually I've got it. I've got it. So silent majority, which you and me are actually part of. Silent majority, it's time. Y'all need to stand up. 
And y'all need to say, hey, this is enough. Shut the fuck up. Stop taking away our history. Stop fucking teaching our kids a false history based off of what you want to be taught, right? We're not China. We don't want our kids taught propaganda. Stop teaching them bullshit, okay? Stop erasing history. I want it out with all the ugliness, all the warts, the everything. Guess what? America was not the biggest slave-holding station or nation in the world. Station nation, very similar. I mean, we had, we weren't. We weren't. I mean, we talk about more slaves were shipped to by three fourths. Three fourths of the slaves shipped to the Americas were shipped to South America as a whole. From Africa, from ruling tribes. Who captured them. Who captured them. And sold them yep. for money so that they could do war on neighboring tribes. Okay, but that goes into an entire other, uh, other thing we'll talk about. But fixing erasing history. I think you've touched on it. It's like stop being... You, you've really touched on it. Stop beating around the... We can't erase history. It, it, well, doesn't, matter, it <clears throat> doesn't matter how hard you try. History will always rear its dirty end. What and, happens if you erase history? We won't learn from it. Yes. You forget. And it repeats itself. We're seeing... Everybody talks about, oh, well, guys, Rome, and they think about it at least once a day. It's... It's like, well, you know what? Rome has a lot we can learn from. Strong men build weak men. Weak men build politicians. Politicians build hard times. Hard times build strong men. And there's a repeating thing. Yeah. We've, and we're, we've built politicians. What yeah. are we building? Strong men. We're in, we're in this, tr this tribulation we, right now. We are in, in, in between right now. We are about to go into some fucking hard times. And the last time we experienced this was World War II. Before. Before World War II. Because what happened before World War II that built really the last properly time, strong men? Correct. But the last time we experienced this in America was World War II. No. We built strong men. In America. In America. What happened? Okay, so the Great have... Depression. That's what built okay. strong men. That's what built the men who fought World War II. Yes, I'm not saying World War II was what built yeah, the strong men. Fuck off! You're men. wrong. I'm right. Woo! All right, Texas. I'm saying we had strong men in World War II that were built off. Okay, so 20 years. We're talking about your average 18. So 20 years we can average. 20 years before. 1940s great depression was in its height so they're in here now so 20 plus years most of the people in world war ii were great depression era babies mm -hmm. so we're at this my fix for this is don't we put we put history on blast so we can learn from it yeah so we can learn from our mistakes yeah like hiding it masking it tearing down statue okay it offends you fine Take it down, but don't I, remove I, I it think, from history. I think it's actually good that you're offended. I think that you being offended, I think that history, that history existing, those statues existing, and those you having your hurt feelings is good for you, good. and we they need to stay up. From it. We yes. can learn from Never it. Never remove them. Like, it offends you. Good. This gives you a drive for something else. I've watched so many freaking videos. It was like, oh, based on a true story, dude was... A black gentleman killed by a white gentleman, both gangs, and dude ends up changing his life, helping white Aryan members leave this type of organization mm -hmm. and become healthy members of society, remove tattoos, remove the swastika, remove the SS, and they jump into society. But the only way we can do this is if we learn from history. Removing them from the public face only destroys us because we can't learn. 